Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be working in one of the Studio Calico Traveler's Notebooks that I hauled recently. Um, if you recall, I bought them during a like 40% off sale for one hour and I was very curious about the collections and so I went ahead and purchased a few items. I bought the documenter kit, which is their pocket page one, and then the separate, I wanna say, um, Traverse notebook, sorry, <laughs> lost the word for this. So I have like coordinating pieces like these labels and it came with two sets of stamps, these um, circle stamps too, um, stickers. And then what were the other items? Oh, like a washi tape, like this one. And there's one with the like, gummy bears on it. So there's a few little pieces in there that I want to use. <clears throat> Here's where I'm already kind of struggling on what to do. I took out the staples um, on these because as a whole, these notebooks are made from a very heavyweight cardstock, which is fantastic. However, when it's staple, I mean, you can already see it, it doesn't really like stay closed very much because the paper is such like good quality. So it buckles and so, or stays open. And so I'm just thinking to myself, like as I add pictures and stuff to this, this is going to get super, super chunky. So, I got to thinking like maybe should I be um, cutting them? So I took the staple out and I'm thinking, should I just cut them so that they're all like page individual pages and then keep them in my Life Crafted album, you know, one of uh, these sizes that I work in, the outside the page protector. Because as they fit, they are the normal size um, child but they'll fit into the sleeves. And I can st just use them as my layouts as the sleeves or I can just punch holes in them and not worry about it so much. So I'm a little torn because also like for now, so here's my photos I'm scrapping. I printed them on eight by 10, two just like very long ones. And so I split them because they are, will be the size of a full page photo in here. So we're gonna make two of them. So when I think of Childers Notebook, I just think they, they stay a little bit more simple. So I'll hopefully get two done in this video. So I'm thinking I might just cut them all down so that they're all individual papers and not worry about keeping them staple bound because they might get super chunky. Yeah. And I remember I have three of them too. So I'm just kind of like, oh my goodness, like I do want to work in this size and now I have tons of supplies, but I'm just so torn. I don't even know. I'm like, should I pause this and like get a vote? on Instagram or something first. Because also I think, who is it? I think it's Hibba from My Little Journal. I think she does uh, split them down the center and she cuts them down. I'm pretty sure that's what she does. I think that's what I have to do. Um, so anyway, so let's just, I'm thinking of putting this one of uh, Vale and Daddy together here with this kind of fun little frond one. And don't get me wrong, what I also, this is printed from Walgreens and I had a little, I don't want to say it was sticker. It was something laid on top of it. And when I picked it off, it was sticky and it peeled off some of his, um, of the color print on his face. So that little white dot is an imperfection caused by me. So see, this is what I mean right now. They get chunky. I'm going to have to like put this in and then like if I keep them, no, I don't know what to do, guys. Maybe I won't cut them yet, and let's just see how it goes to make these two, like by keeping them like this, so that I just know the order. <clears throat> and that way we'll see how chunky, and if it gets chunky toward the end of the video, we'll just cut them down. And that way I know what I have left to do. So this one I like on this one, and I think I wanna do this, there's a rainbow one, this bold one for the picture with me on there. And so we're gonna do some fussy cutting. I picked out a few of the Traveler's, uh, the pocket page cards too. So I'm liking this one and I'm gonna cut out the little gummy bear. And then for the other one, I wanna make this into like a little pocket and have this tag with the lime green stick behind it. And we'll do some stamping or something here. So yeah, let's just tell the stories and get started. So let's get started working in the Traveler's Notebook. So I have worked in this size before, but I have to kind of reiterate that this size is kind of wonderful for fast scrapbooking. Um, whether you do a full page like this, which you saw I split from an eight by 10, 
or in general if you use just four by six photos it goes in here quite nicely and so if you have those stories that just want to have a place in your albums pick up traveler's notebooks they are really great so the story i'm telling here is the fact that i now need glasses to read <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be 41 soon and yeah the vision I just slowly have noticed is diminishing and I have to like bring the book like at an arm's length away to read it and since I am reading a lot more lately I decided to just kind of go ahead and get some readers. <laughs> These were a pack from Amazon for like uh, $13 and I got like five different like plastic sets. They were also the kind that are blue light canceling too so i can do computer work with them on so there's like a black set like the tortoise and a clear and i think a pink clear so that's the story i'm telling i did print it on clear sticker paper and added it to the three by four uh journaling card also from the studio calico kit i cut out the little gummy bear which i thought was cute and then i'm playing with the stamps from the kits themselves too this is like the little star one and then i stamped so cool on one of the label stickers that you see scattered to the right of my desk and i do use those uh, labels again for the other page as well in my notebook so in the end i know i was <laughs> debating whether or not to cut it since I'm doing the voice over after um, I did these projects I will let you know that I did cut all these pages so that they are just like individual sheets of paper it just worked out easier and they do fit wonderfully into my life crafted album so I'm happy with my choice I just was so flummoxed <laughs> in the beginning of doing these projects that I was like this is not gonna work <laughs> So once again, I did do my journaling um, on clear sticker paper, and now I'm sort of creating a pocket with the other journal card. I trimmed like a half an inch from the top and the bottom, and it says, I forgot what this one says, um, it's summer. It's wonderful to have summertime or something like that. And I'm making the pocket via adding some strips of uh, vellum to make uh, and, and folding them in half so that it sits in there so that there wasn't any sort of uh, friction if I just trim the cards down that's the other way to do it so I thought I would take it a little bit further for this one and make it into a tag so just nip the corners and then I'm using an awl to pierce a hole that way I can get some black and white baker's twine uh, lace through there and I love the way that looks but here I am taking it another step further and this was a recent purchase um, from close to my heart this is the like I love summer stamp set and so it's kind of like borders and they don't repeat but it just has like summer themed items so I got on this card the bathing suit the flip-flops and the sunglasses and then there was another repeating pattern of seashells which I love so I graced that at the top of the page and then the currently that I stamped on the journaling card is actually from an L Studio set of stamps. I'm really getting into stamping I am slowly growing my collection it has truly dawned on me like a light bulb has gone off that stamps are just an item you can reuse with different color inks and get so many versatile looks with them that I have now just a stamping collector. <laughs> so I used the label stamps once again and that finished off this layout as well. Well okay that wraps up these two layouts. So Doing this size is new for me, so I am just learning, because you saw me kind of futz around with that a little bit. Um, but bind it together, very cute, simple, and I like adding those little black like confetti stars on there. And then for the other page, got a little bit more involved because I made this into a pocket with those vellum pieces so that the tag has a nice little room to sit. Usually I would have done just the border of tape but I didn't want to trim down the the three by four card that much so left it as is these stamps were close to my heart and then I did a little stamping with the stamp set that came with the kit uh, for those two embellishments because all these labels were part of it as well super cute two small quick stories in this traveler's album and see you until next time everyone bye mm -hmm.